Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Living Streams will meet behind the trade fair behind Zenith College on Sundays in the mornings and then on Wednesdays for our midweek service in the evenings. Now, this morning, I'd like to uh, capture my thoughts with the with with title, Body Beggars. Now, in the book of Matthew, chapter 27, from verse 57 onwards, there is a, a powerful story there. In fact, there's a man who emerges, and that man became my hero. His name, was, his name was Joseph of Arimathea. And all of a sudden, Joseph of Arimathea appears, and he appears in, in a very powerful way. Now, obviously, all throughout Scripture, we never heard his name. We never heard mention of him, and uh, there are many, many conjectures about him. But truthfully, we do not even know who he was or where he was coming from. But for me, I, 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 I just picked up something about him. It was, not his, um, it was not his entrance. It was not any other thing than by his action. Guess what? The Bible says when Jesus was, when Jesus was crucified, when Jesus died, Joseph of Arimathea, that was, it was a prince of Arimathea, somebody in a position of authority, somebody in a position of prominence, somebody who walks within the corridors of power, somebody who fellowships with people, men and, position, men and women in positions of prominence. The Bible says he walked up to Pilate, walked up to the authorities that be, and then begged for the body of Christ. He begged for the body of Christ. That means he went on his knees and asked, pleading, give me the body. So guess what? All throughout, he was never seen, he was never heard, until that crucial time when Jesus was dead and he went and begged for the body of Jesus and even placed Jesus in his tomb. Now, this is very interesting. Nothing is said about him. He didn't go out with the disciples of Jesus casting out demons. You remember when they came back singing and said, oh, and Jesus said, well, I saw Satan fall like lightning. He never did any of those things. But at a very, a very crucial time, when the body of Christ needed his help, he stepped out to beg for the body. Sometimes God places people in positions of prominence. Sometimes you are catapulted from nobody to become somebody. All of a sudden, you become relevant positionally. You become relevant politically. You become relevant in, in corridors of power. Now, this man used this position to beg for the body of Christ. Who is the body of Christ? Us. Sometimes people walk into positions of prominence and they forget or they have no clue and they have no thought and they have no concern for the body of Christ. That is the body of Christ. Using their position of influence, using their positions of power, using their positions to ameliorate the pains of the body of Christ, to help the body of Christ. They are not there. It is possible that people may go into positions of power, go and walk in corridors of prominence and all that, and they forget. But this man made himself useful for the body of Christ. And that is where we are coming from. Making yourself useful for the body of Christ, wherever you are. Using your position. Leveraging what you have for the body of Christ, for the church, for God's people, using your position, begging for the body. That means we're going to come to a place where certain things are going to be rising up. Somebody must stand up and be an advocate. Somebody must stand up and begin to speak for us. Somebody must stand up and begin to make their position count. That's what Joseph of Arimathea did. Maybe you can go up there and forget. That's okay. Maybe you can go up there 
And who cares? You don't care about anybody. You don't care much about the body of Christ. But Joseph of Arimathea became a beggar for the body. Let's see what you do when you get there. Or let's see what you're doing when you are there. Be a beggar for the body. See you later.